Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Nakindi Kitchen. For those who are new, welcome. Watch other videos and remember to subscribe. For returning subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing and sharing my videos. Today, I want to show you how to make a mashed potatoes with the peas. So, I'm going to peel the potatoes first and then I'll cook them in a salted boiled water and then I'll sieve a water mash and then once I've mashed them I'll add a branched peas then from there I'll serve with my protein so I'm going to use a, I'm going to use this peeler to peel my potatoes so guys to subscribe you just tap that button written subscribe in red it's free it's free if you have not subscribed i don't know what you are waiting for finally we are done with the peeling of potatoes and by the way before you peel your potatoes you're supposed to wash them first Mash, say hi. Hi, subscribe. Can you subscribe? Okay. Mash was helping me to peel the, the potatoes. So my water is boiling. I'm going to add salt. Now let's add our potatoes onto our boiling water. So you cover until they are ready to mash. So my water for peas, it's boiling, I've added salt. Guys, remember points to note when you are preparing veggies, use little amount of water or liquid. So I'm going to cook this for around uh, just two minutes and then I'll remove them from the hot water and then I refresh. Refreshing is a uh, passing through cold running water so that your, veg your vegetables cannot cook further. Checky, that's how they are cooking now. I'm just going to drain the water and then I refresh them. That's the benefit of branching your veggies or cooking in already boiled water with a bit of salt they don't turn color they don't overcook the nutrients are preserved now look at my well fresh green peas my these are potatoes still they are boiling Using my kitchen fork, I'm going to check if the potatoes are ready so that I can mash. Just pears. You can see they are ready. See? We'll sieve the water, then I add a bit of margarine, and then I mash. I've drained the water now. I've added the margarine. Now I want to mash using the masher. Please. Mm. 
that's the progress so easy to use the masher so now i want to add my piece and the reason as to why you don't add before mashing is that because sometimes they can mash to it we don't want them to to mash so it's better you mash potatoes first then you add in your piece next year i'm just uh, preparing a minced meat to accompany my mashed potatoes with the peas i know that funny accompaniment the best accompaniment for potato dishes is either chicken or fish but today i've decided i'm going to eat uh, mashed potatoes with the uh, minced meat <laughs> That's the final product, mashed potatoes with peas. Thank you so much guys for watching my videos and remember to subscribe. Bye bye till next video.